Degrees outside. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I do not be. Yes, yes, you do. You have a blanket on you in the house when it be summertime. What are you talking about? It just depends on if you got the air on. No, the air. I don't be there. I come home and the air ain't even on. You still with a blanket. But anyway, welcome back. Welcome back to another. Let's talk about it. This is gonna be a two in one because these are two events that happen. Today? No, this week that we know about. One happened to somebody that we know personally, and the other one, which that was the first one, I, but that wasn't the first one. The first one was this other story that y'all probably didn't see. Um, social media or news or whatever, which I don't even think it was on the news. It's just been on social media and people been kind of outraged. So, apparently there was a group of kids at the mall. Have you seen it? Uh, you ain't seen a group of kids where it was a white, well, he looked white. I think he ended up being Hispanic, but he looked white. No. And the black and the black kid and the white kid was apparently aggressive, all up in his face, blase, blase. Oh, is it where the kid where he was trying to, the other kid? No, nah, he was, he, this was himself. Where he was being, well, I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't know, but I don't think it was. But he was being, I guess the the bigger kid, white kid, was picking on him at the mall. All Pick his friends, white kids, everybody was around. Picking on the Hispanic kid and the black kid. No, listen, Linda. Oh, Jesus. The Lord. Hispanic kid was picking on the black kid. Okay. At the mall. Okay. Yeah. Listen, just, Linda. I just need you to get it right. I got it right. I said the Hispanic kid picking on the black kid. But anyway, so altercation happened. And as usual, what us black people expect? So the white kid was the aggressor. They got into a scuffle, was fighting, whoop de woo You know, it started off with the white kid putting his face up in, in the kid's face like that. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. So he smacked it out in his hand. And it just went from there. They just started squabbing. So apparently, you know, police at the mall, which it looked like police. I don't think it was security. Mall security. Let's, police are mall security now. Could be. Um, they, I, do know, I know they do have them oh, in no, malls yeah. now. But, um... So, they, the white kid at the time, I think, was on top of the black kid. So, they threw him off and just jumped on. Uh, it was a, a female officer and, you know, a white male officer. So the female officer had the Hispanic kid to the side, just pretty much let him sit on the couch. While the other, the male officer grabbed the kid by his neck, doing, made sure, you no, know, put his knee in his neck. On, on the, the black kid. Yeah, on the black kid, on the ground, as if he was the, the, the problem starter. So they jumped him, and then actually, yeah, that happened. And then the female officer let the other kid just go. The white kid just, get, well, he didn't go, but she got off of him, and she got down on the black kid as well. So I'm like, wow. And you can hear his the black kid's white friends or whatever, like, it's only because he's black. This is just straight racial. There's no reason. when they And the kids are sitting there saying that, you know, no, he was the aggressor. He started all of this. But no, it's typical. So it would have to be the black kid that started everything. Or it wouldn't even by start. It's like if you go on apprehend two people fighting, you apprehend two Both people them. fighting. And then you assess. And yeah, and then you get your story. Then you figure it out. Like, hey, break it up, break it up. You over here, keep you over here, right. whatnot. By now, he jumped on the team. Little kid. Well, I don't know how little he was, but he, young kid. Like he was a grown, aggressive adult or something. 
So that was the first thing that happened. Everybody's been outraged, you and know. Where's what town is this in? Uh, I have to look back. I, I want to say it was was it Virginia or PA? It was one of them. I, I have to look back. I can't remember what it was. So that was the first thing we I seen this week, and it was like, wow, you know what? It's normal. But then you have all these people saying, you no, know, I'm gonna say them, them certain white people. They'd be like, oh, there's no racial issues. There's nothing going on. People just making it is what it is. No, 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 no. We're not even gonna play that. It's and, becoming way too obvious that it's a race issue at this at this point. Yeah. So if, we if you're not treating everybody it. the same and equal in the same thing, and another group is getting treated a certain way, then that, then they, that's a race issue. What else is it gonna be? I'm pretty sure y'all gonna come up with some crazy name. Oh, this is called such and such now. I ain't never heard in all my life, but now y'all just tagged a new line. This is like what they started calling with the, uh, what's the whole race thing they didn't came out with the term that they started using here recently? I don't know, because I don't keep up with terms. I'm a very black and white person. Well, they told, when they use it in schools, because they, they was talking about it, how they trying to use the term such and such in teaching or whatever. I can't think of the term. I can't but, so that was the first scenario. Then this week, we had one of our friends, uh, uh, son, which he's mixed, mother's white, the daddy's black, and he has uh, two sisters. So they all mix as well. So the son, how old, how old is he now? He's 11. He's 11 now. So. He been getting bullied. He's been yeah, getting bullied he's been, in the school. He's been getting bullied in this school. Stuff's been going on crazy, whatnot. So apparently, the other day, police show up to his house. Him and his friend was sitting out on the porch. Him and his friend that you have to you have to tell the story, you gotta tell no, the I'm story. just gonna say him and his friend was sitting out on the porch right now. They came up to him. The police. Police came up to him. I'm, what, did, what did she say? They said at first when they came up to him. They asked him his name. Yeah, asked him his name. And then they begin to basically start patting him down, put his hands, put him in hand, put his yeah. hands up, saying that they were wanted to check him to make sure he didn't have any weapons and, and stuff like that. I'm eleven, like, yeah, eleven. Eleven on his front porch. And he's a little eleven, not no big juicy size kids like these kids is huge, but he's a little old school version of what 11 looks like. I don't know what's the old school version. But well, hey. you know, these kids is ginormous. Yeah, some of but them. But he ain't ginormous. He looked like how we was made, made when we was little. Yeah. So he's a little 11. So, at this time, the mother came out and what did she say? She, she asked him, you know, what's going on? Whoop de woo. And what did they? She, ba she basically was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, what's going on? What's happening? Why are you my son like that in the well, office. She didn't even said, say her son at first, right? Well, what are you? She just asked. What, what, are, what are you doing? Right. And the officer said, "I'm patting him down right now. Once I get finished, I'll talk to you." And she was like, "He's my 11 year old son." And he said, "Oh, you're the mother. Well, you'll have to wait till I finish patting him down." I'm like, well, first off, why am I? Why would I wait? You can tell me right now and there. He's on my porch. You're on private property. Right. They shouldn't have ever touched him without speaking to the mother first. That's first and foremost. Not only that. So, no, I'll let you wait. They go in the house. They look through his cell phone, through his backpack, through his... Uh, I guess through everything. Illegal, illegal search. Because I wouldn't let you in my house search nothing. Unless you got a warrant, come back, holler at me. Don't come up to me if you ain't got no warrant. Uh, again, 11. 11. So, typical, kids don't know they rights. But remember, he's a mixed kid. He looked mixed. Black. So, what was the reason they said they was over there in the first place? After they did everything they did. After they do all of that, go through the room, through the house, all that old craziness. They tell her that some some girls at the school said that he told them that he was going to be the next shooter of a of a school, and so 
they were sent to the house to find him. Now, they were looking for a, a white male with a black backpack uh, and something else, a black jacket. The, our friend's son had on a red hoodie, no backpack, but his friend that was sitting on the porch had a black hoodie on Fit with a black backpack. And he's just sitting there. He's not saying anything. They didn't ask him, question him, do nothing. No, not one thing. Uh, and the neighborhood, I don't know where she lives, but from the pictures of the porch, it looked like a new community. Mm -hmm. So, where does she stay at anyway here? In Euless. It's in Euless? Yeah. Okay. So, I, I'm first off, I'm thinking like, ah, the black kid, miss kid, they thinking like, ah, oh, no. Nah. He's out of, he don't live over in this area. Let's get hit, let's harass him. Even though you have a description of the person you're supposed to be looking for, and that description fits the other person on the porch. And, and his friend, his friend was white, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, another scenario. So the friend was white, fit the description, didn't have none of the stuff on at all. I mean, he, he had, he had the what they was clothing, everything, what they was looking for, but yeah. They the mixed kid him. didn't have nothing. Didn't fit no description, no nothing. So it's crazy when these how these two incidents are playing out. And that's that's not even the what, gust. What, what's the gust? The gust was the mother has been having issues with these same group of kids, basically targeting her son. So she knows the parents. So they told her that it was not the police told her as the mother that she could not reach out to those kids parents because that would be considered harassment and they would pick her up now my friend she's that mother she texts those parents anyway letting them know what their daughters did how afraid her son is now and what it did to him to be treated the way he was treated those mothers called the co police and, and had the police come back to her house to tell her again, if she called again, that they could press charges against her for harassing them. Now, if but, I, but they not gonna tell her that she should press charges against, on, them. On, on, against them for making false claims and all of this. And what whatever happened to the boy who was there? Was he the person that was actually supposed to be, that was looking for him? They fit the description. They didn't even bother with him. So she never, you never got back with her and found mm -hmm. out that was a, or was the uh, the people who's been messing with him or were they white or black or was the girls white? They're, they're white. These kids are white, and they have been picking on him since uh, it started when they were in viral learning, virtual learning, not viral. Sorry, y'all, virtual learning, and it's just become a thing. Now, her his mother has gone to the school district too many times. When I say too many times, entirely too many times, and the school district has done nothing um last year because he was getting picked on so much they had these same ah well phone got hot again but uh damn where were we at you know phone got hot he was on the part where the, the the police told her the mother that she would be considered harassing if she contacted them yeah so that's crazy so i know a lot of people on facebook was saying i'm like telling her to press charges yeah press charges get get your lawyer since the schools ain't gonna do nothing but then they gonna want to cry and holla if a kid actually does go up there and and shoot somebody or does something because they getting bullied but all the time y'all ain't doing nothing when we telling you this is happening in the schools or whatnot and y'all just like, oh, it's just kids. Yeah, kids being kids, but kids ain't the same kids nowadays. And kids and don't that, kids don't fight, they wanna shoot. This the this bullying stuff, that shit lasts a lifetime on people. Huh. And but, people deal with that for the rest of their lives. Even even the bullying that I received, it made me real shunned off to being with people. But being this, around people. And that still goes at the end of the day you gotta teach your kids to fight. When you get a bully, it's something my grandma told me when I was young. Big son knocked their asses in their head. 
Yeah, you, you might get in trouble for it, but like if you didn't came to the schools or whatever, I know my grandma and parents were like, well, we we didn't talk to y'all, but I never really didn't have a bullying problem or anything. Maybe when I got in middle school, I did for a second. You know, I used to be a little chubby kid at the time, but until I knocked somebody to blank out, all that shit. Change. What? Stop touching I'm it. Trying to make I already it. had it set. You, you I'm was trying to being set. I'm trying to make that. You were seeing it was already said. Don't go. Man, half my face was being said. It was still in there. Your face was in there. You here. You here. Man, I always want to touch the camera. Sure. They got to get close ups and stuff. But okay. yeah, I, I ain't never really had that problem. In well, school, except, except for that, that one time. Cause, and, and that was like in middle school. But, you know, it's just crazy how we see everything going on in the world. And I'm going to say, the, just not all white people, but this certain group of white people is just want to act like. They're afraid of us. I ain't even afraid. I ain't even, but. Where was I at? I Them just acting like. Yeah, but yeah, you know, certain white people just act like, oh, there's no racial issues. There's nothing. Stop lying. Just stop. The truth will set you free. You know what? If, if you don't like a certain group of people, just say you don't like a group of certain people. You don't fuck with them. I can respect that more than anything. But back, you know, to the whole laws and everything, this is what I say. If we want to change some stuff, which I, you know, I spoke my mind all the time. If you want to change some stuff, you're going to have to start fighting back. That's that's pretty, I'm going to say it in a nice way. Just gonna, we just got to start fighting back. I mean, really fighting back. Especially because now I'm our kids I'm, I'm, are suffering yeah, from this bull. Well, kids been suffering. We've been suffering since I was young. Ain't nothing changed. All this stuff keeps going on. Same old politicians stick together with the whole same system. All they want you to get out and do is protest and speak your mind, but nothing ever changes with nothing. Well, that's the old way. Even with the... That's still, that's still the same way. Our parents did that shit and yeah, it and didn't they, even work. And they still doing it now and it don't work. <laughs> We've seen that. Even with the whole... Yeah, one cop, two cops maybe got locked up. But there's many more cases of cops. I can name countless stories that probably ain't even been reported from just me growing, growing up. Didn't have cell phones. But if we'd have had cell phones been able to record stuff, it would have been crazy. If y'all have seen the stuff. I didn't seen cops plant drugs on a person take his money I, i've been even in the car sitting remember when was this it used to be a checkers on 63rd this was back maybe i was like 16 17 18 i'm out in kansas city yeah back back home in kansas city okay where uh, altercation i guess whoever was, was i think it was a white guy behind the uh register this was late this was maybe like 12 1 o'clock at night because everybody all, all the young crowd we get out we hit a few of the clubs up, then we was coming up there to eat. So I'm right up front. And who was that? It was Lamar. Lamar and John was with Why me. Why you giving people names? Because they don't know. It's been so long ago. But so, <laughs> yeah, we had just left. And these were some good old clubs. I think it was, was it KB's or was it, uh, it was the Party House on 31st. If y'all from KC, y'all remember them spots if y'all was really out. That's how, old, that's how old I am. But yeah, so... <laughs> Whoever was at the front of the thing, they get an altercation. And this was right when, I'll never forget, because uh, uh, Marlins Pops had told us, like, yeah, we got a whole bunch of new fresh white uh, officers on the force. So y'all be be safe out there. Be careful. So we there was always warning us, warning us then on, on stuff, you know, tactics and stuff they'll try to do to you. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the driver's seat. So I guess apparently the, the whoever's working at the checkers, he called the cops. Cops show up. Now, I'm in the car, the driver's seat. I'm waiting. I think John and Lamar have been out the car. He comes to me, getting irate with me. I'm like, look, I ain't done nothing. If you want to, here's my such and such, you can have that. You want my ID, you can have that. Now, at the time, I was already getting ready to pull off, so the car wasn't in gear. So he was like, get out the car, get out the car. The like, cop is yeah, you? I'm like, what I gotta get out the car for? I ain't done nothing. I'm getting food. What is you? What is your problem? Whoever you got an issue with, the owner has issue with, is up that way. And not like typical. The owner just start pointing out at everybody at the damn thing. So they come to me because I'm in the car, 
And I'm in a, I'm in what was a 77 coupe clean. I think it was gold. It was, yeah, it was like a goldish color. Trues and Vogue. Trues. Yeah, it was no, it wasn't Vogue. Trues and uh, 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 White Walls at the time. Wire wheels. So I'm I'm up clean. So I'm getting into it with him. Like, dude, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Why are you messing with me? I'm like, you ain't got no reason to search me. I ain't got nothing. I'm not giving you a reason. I give you my ID if that's it. And I actually, actually you know what? At the time, my window wouldn't come down. My window had just went off track. So he was even getting moped. I like, dude, my window can't come uh, come 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 down because I had the door cracked. So he opened the door. I was trying to talk to him. He flung it all the way open. And I'm rem remind you, the car's in drive. So he trying to throw me out. The car started rolling. So as a matter of fact, I remember John had to jump back in and put his foot on the brake just to stop the car. So it, it just went all the way, all the way left from there. And I've always been the person like, man, from then growing up, you get that mind freight. Fuck the police. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't doing nothing but fucking with people for no reason. And I've had many occasions where I'm just driving, minding my business. And the tags and my car ain't even in my name. And then my pops, the pops name. His stuff's legit straight all the way. They just pulled me over. I didn't have multiplication. Like, oh, you fit the description of is the store over here just got robbed or something. I'm like, dude, really? Pull it up. Show it. Let, let me see it in the system. What's the description? They can't ever tell you nothing. So I had that always growing up. And then when you grow up, you get older and you have that mentality to like the cops out your life is always just been fucking with you then when you have that mentality oh i'm getting pulled over this is the same old bullshit so, so yeah so it's the same old shit so you know what i didn't know for a long time until maybe like the last year or so listening to charlemagne charlemagne the god on the breakfast club that you know what they call it it's uh uh it's not depression, but it's the uh, it's not PTSD. But what's the what's the what's the word they call anxiety? I didn't never I didn't never know what that was until I put that with police. Is when you get that feeling, you feel sick almost. Sick when you see the police, you don't want to be around them. You want to go. If they look at you, you don't even want to look straight. You just want to turn right because you don't even feel want to deal with them. I realized, like, damn, that's anxiety that I have every time I From see the From the trauma of cop. the shit you've experienced with them. So it's like, dude. So even, even, I can think of stuff where even if I may have had, like, a speeding ticket or a warrant or something like that. and But I'm doing good. I'm doing straight. There's been many issues where you just get bad treatment. It's never like, okay, take me to jail. If I was wrong, I was wrong. I'll go ahead and accept my thing. That's one thing I learned. If I, if I got caught doing something, I'm good. And I never had the problem with black cops. Most of the black cops we always ran into, or they was cool. They know, majority, they're like, we, I wasn't a wild kid and the cats that I always hang around with, we wasn't wild out there doing nothing reckless. But yeah, we did stuff to protect our lives. You know, we had a young age because stuff was wild, really wild. You know, Crips and the Bloods, that was really heavy in the time where you was getting ran down, jacked for starter coach, jacked for your Jordans, ran down on everything. So when I tell my kids this on stuff that happened, they look like horrified. I'm like, man, you have no idea. When we used to have to walk to school and do all of this stuff just to make it make it to school safe, walk not just two blocks, three blocks, but walk like 10, 15 blocks to school and you go through bad neighborhoods, different gangs and stuff, it, it was crazy. So we was never like that with the police, but we learned when they just kept fucking with us for no reason, man. F y'all. Didn't like the police at all. And you'll see a lot of people that don't like the police at all. Now, as I got older, I understand. I, which I had had some white cops that was cool. No problem. They was like, you yeah, look, I was in the wrong. They be cool. Give you a ticket. But then you run across them, them assholes and them dicks who just want to fuck with you for no damn reason. Try to talk smack to you. But I've always been, look, I tell them straight up, if you're going to give me a ticket, give me a ticket. If you're going to take me to jail, take me to jail, but let me go. But I ain't going to keep going back and forth with you. If I tell you I wasn't doing something, I wasn't doing it, then you know I wasn't doing it. Simple as that. If I got caught speeding, then I got caught speeding. 
If I wasn't speeding, I'm gonna tell you I wasn't speeding. Prove it. You gotta show me. If if I was doing something reckless or somebody uh, uh with a so-called you fit the description, prove it. Other than that, let me go. Take me to jail. I know my rights. My experiences you, has been different from yours, but I've of course my times is different. Even when I've been riding in your Chevy with me and in the wagon with the black tinted windows. The experience on you getting yeah. pulled over and the experience on me getting pulled over was a, two extremely different things. Yeah, they they pulled they pulled me over, but I don't want to go too far from where we was going. But that's just a scenario on issues that most black people have always had with cops. And I'm gonna say this now: I have two sons that's going into the whole police force and everything. Want to want to be feds and all of this. I, I applaud them. They think they can make the change and for the for the world, which I think we spoke on that before. But yeah. I think we have to send more of our sons and daughters in the police force if you want to make a change. Cause but you like, have to be honest with your kids. Yeah, you, you got to be honest like you want to make a change. But think about it. If we know the KKK and all of them racial hate groups got into positions of power like that, we have to start sending our people in to get them in positions of power to get them up out of there. And we also start, and start telling truth. I had no problem with back in the blue. Yeah, you back. Like I said, my sons are getting ready going to it, so I'm backing my sons. But truth and honesty is over back in the blue or anything. Right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Simple as that. If you did something wrong, own up to it. And be willing to call out. Yeah, assholes. call call, call out not. the bullshit. Like, hey, he, he's wrong. He should be punished for that and all of that. So with the, the whole kids thing, this is just an example of same old shit ain't gonna stop. And what you doing when you like him, eleven? That shit scarred him. And he looks so fucking frightened. And, and which, like, with the mother, I was like, you know what? She never really had this issue because she had daughters. Right. And like I said, women don't really, even with black women, they really don't have the same issue with their daughters when running into with the police right. as much as the as the men do it's different whether you mixed or not it's totally different and i think now she's seeing like you know what he's always gonna have some type of target on his back just for being mixed and she even said in the post she never thought in the million years that that she would see the look and of sure terror in her son's eye she said the the fear is what made her so infuriated. And, and that's that anxiety that I was talking about that he'll get and it'll be on him. So, and, and she recorded it and it's, and it's on her Facebook page <laughs> and you can see how frightened he is. And and that goes back to like when I was young and started having the issues with the police, with them having the issues with me just because I'm, they notice as you get older. Because you, when you're a kid, you're like, yeah, you used to talk to the cops, run up, get free baseball cars and all types of stuff. Yeah, but as I got older and like and starting driving and realizing how they are rationing and doing people, I was like, oh, nah. I used to want to be a police officer, which is crazy. I think my mom still got a thing that I did at school is like saying I wanted to be a police officer. Nah, that shit went out the window. After I really started realizing the world and how we've been treated and done and stuff we've been lied to over the years from all the events, the stuff that's been done to us and happens, like, no, nah, I can't, I can't support that system like that. I can't fight with that. I can't be a part of that system like that. It's just like, and the pay, how they pay, which is crazy. It's like, you would think, I always thought that firefighters, uh, uh, police, anybody who's out doing stuff like that, service, service for the people, they pay should be great. Right, because they're protecting. Real great. And I was like, the pay they get? Oh, hell no. I'm not going out risking my life. I could die tomorrow and then it is, is what it is. But some people do it and I respect that. That's your choice. Cause like we got soldiers. That's a whole nother topic that I should I'll talk about. But with that whole incident, it, you know, it just shows that ain't nothing changing. And I hate to say it, but more and more as I look at the world until people start fighting, really fighting, eye for an eye on stuff, ain't nothing gonna change. And with I'll, that. I'll go back to what you're saying. Be honest. D d stop acting like we're not seeing this. Stop acting like, oh my God. Like some people on her post was like, 
I didn't believe that this is happening. Stop it. Stop it. It is time out for people to stop saying dumb shit like that because you can't say you don't see it happening. You see it happening all the time no, are you, and you are, drive are, right are, past it until it's somebody that you know. Yeah, that's how I typically it. Well, that's with anything, anybody. Until you experience it or somebody you know, then you always think something different. But most people are in their own bubble and don't pay attention to stuff outside their bubble. But yeah, this, this stuff is still happening. Still. So, something got to change. And if y'all not going to do, if people in power are not going to do right and just want to keep foots on your neck and all of this, it's eventually, we've seen throughout history and time, people revolt. People go and revolt and shit hits the fan. And the way the economy is right now, people on edge and everything with the whole COVID, yeah, it's going to happen. a lot of it, right? Revolting. A lot of revolting is starting to happen. It's going to occur. It's going to be a lot more. It's, it's going to be. It's going to be a lot coming in time if if stuff really don't change. Like I said, there needs to be a change of power. Get, a lot of these old people have been sitting up there need to go. If you if you still I get that you in the system and you trying to prevent the system, but if y'all just shaking hands and making deals and ain't none of them really. That's all it is. Because all you see is these people on TV going back and forth. Oh, this should be done. Uh, this, look look at all this injustice and done and politicians. Nothing. You don't see them until it's election time. Oh, then they need something from you. Like, nah. It's like Ice Cube said, what are y'all going to do for us? And it's stupid. And, and, and we and, and, have to get to that point. No, well, well we've been at that point. It, it, right. since, the beginning of, since the beginning of this whole 400 years and all of that stuff. But... It's, it's crazy and to see that that it you know and i'm we in texas so and since i've been here really ain't heard too much really nothing crazy racial stuff besides you know the few incidents that start popping off you know the chick here in fort worth her house oh well, yeah the, the, the before cop. we got here the, the kid who got drugged in paris texas no that was a while ago that wasn't that was the man who's from the bar and they come that was like that was one of the things made me like you know what i don't know if i want to go to texas in which i be hitting some of them towns uh be doing work in so you know i'll be playing safe while i'm around there i ain't gonna say what but hey and i'll be worried i'm not getting i'm not getting caught slipping if it happens it happens but that's not gonna be how i go y'all gonna see me on the news on the run don't, somewhere don't you say that on this video hey, i'm just saying you're gonna see me on the news or run because i'm just not gonna let you take my life for nothing well i but, definitely worried about it over the years that's for sure but it, it's crazy and we can keep saying the world needs to do better and all of this. Yeah, the world gonna keep doing what it's little by doing slowly but surely. We we have seen progress over the years, but it we not, we, we not gonna see the progress we need to see to really make change. Until everything is equal, equal, a flat field. One person do this, or this group of people do it, they get charged this way. If the next person, a group of people do this, then they get charged the same way the first people get charged. And that ain't never going to happen. Everybody get charged the same. I wouldn't have no problem. It's not going to ever happen. Because we can. there's been many stories where you can see white kid do the same thing, he get off. Oh, he's a he's a, he's a citizen. He, he has more where he, he can change his life around. Black kid, nah, get that nigga five to ten. Give him more time. Send him to juvenile hall. And I, I know stories are crazy white kids just doing some shit like dude beating up their parents stealing robbing all type of crazy shit i'm like dude that what how you get out that's a prime example i was watching that the that, that little bit of that snippet documentary this morning about the the black man the exec for jordan's brand his friend has done a sentence he went into jail at 20 years old he is 72 years old and he was released released at 72 and they will not hire him they proved that his case was non-valid and that he did not commit the crime but he is still being punished by not being able to be employed not be able to hold down a job not even be able to function because of the charges that he did not commit and all that could be just swiped away in he, the system he went like in that. as a young man and he is an old 72 year old man and he literally cried because he thought that 
our world would be a world of second chances. No, no, not America. Not it's, it's second chances. It's just not for us. We can see everybody else get second chances, but we're not gonna get second chances. And if you do, you're lucky. And it seems like the only ones that get second chances are these big known rap stars mm. or entertainers who making millions and millions of dollars. They paying somebody for for, for them for their owners. Those are the only people who get second second chances. We can go counts like, dude, like, dude, you just got ample amount of chances and you keep screwing up. I don't get that. But for regular folk, nah, nah, who ain't doing nothing, committing no crazy crimes, out here killing nobody or nothing, you get you you get treated the worst. And the crazy part, the man has done so many educational sis, uh, programs in the jail. He's done so many different things to re. What they call it? rehabilitate people rehabilitate others and and to live a life that's different from what he was doing and as a 20 year old he was a, he was a kid who was in the wrong place at the wrong time and a lot of kids got in trouble and he was there so they lumped him into the group and he got the charges he got the maximum of the charge because he was the oldest of the group so which is bull so that's crazy but going back to the kids you know it's just it starts young you start that is why Kids get the attitude of, of fuck the police and, and don't like it. He'll never look at the cops the same. I'm it, sure. It, it, it'll start. It'll start from there. So, you know, for I know a lot of mixed kids and mothers, kids was little and now they getting older. Y'all better you start teaching your kids the rule. But if, if, if they, which I don't know how the father is with the kid or whatever, but if they father's not around, y'all better talk to somebody. Uh, uh, on the rules and regulations uh, uh, about being black when you moving around here just because you mix they not giving no passes they looking at you the same as as my complexion just because you're a little bit light mm -mm. you may get a pass but for the most part not so we just want to come speak on that for a minute since that happened this week um just let's talk about it and you know hopefully i get i this, I, what I, you about to say I'm, is a very hopeless comment. Yeah, I, I, I'm just all out of hope with this and that that change. And I just, just like I said, I th we need to start waking, waiting for the system to make the changes. But and I, we, as people, as individuals, it was 193 people. S sorry for your mishap. Sorry for this. Mm -mm. But, if you got kids and you see something like that happening to your child, it is our responsibility as parents to be like, hell no. Nah. Even if he ain't my kid, I got a white son, whatever, we need to get together as parents and make a difference. That is the biggest difference between but, 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 our community but, yeah, and it, what we experience it, as kids. But people are not going to put themselves on the line. That's, that. that's the problem. Everybody not putting themselves on the line. Because they fucking scared. That too, or what they'll do is make you crazy and you don't know what you're talking about. The media, how they'll use it. Oh, now they'll try to find some old stuff from you and dig up on your past and try Fuck to that. make you make you something. That's privilege. But like I said, yeah. ain't nothing going to change. Ain't nothing going to change in this world until... Shit just really hits the fan. When I mean hit the fan, strap up, and th th there needs to be another war in America. I will say this. That, that That's what I think. Even with everything, that, that's what I think, and I see this going on on two fronts. We just seen with the, you know, this past year with the whole president and the White House and them storming the Capitol. That's, that shit's going to grow. That is going to grow. And I think what's going to happen is poor people, which we seen out through history. All the poor people who've been mistreated, abused, or, or the system has done something wrong. Eventually, they get together and fight. White, black, every race. Yeah. Every race. Well, they, 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 they stand for that cause, and that's what's going to happen. That's that's what I think is going to happen in my lifetime. Maybe yeah, it will, see. maybe it won't. May, uh, that's, I think that'll be part of it, or maybe God will come back and just... Well, we seen from the George Floyd how people rallied together yeah. and wanted to be the change yeah. and you see how it was infectious state by state and then it needs to be that way with everything every so every time you do something wrong or yeah law is law but what's morally right well i'll just say this it's like it, go ahead law should not trump what's morally right in life yeah right you should have some humanity in you to see and feel sorry and feel compassion for anything that's wrong. 
And if you don't, then there's a problem with you. And I be feeling like something's wrong with me because when I see situations like that, it, it makes me angry. It, it, it makes me, and if it my, does, my emotions be at edge. And, I wanted to go and get him and go up to the school and beat some little girls up. Like I, when my daughter was being in the same school district, she was being bullied by some girls and they mothers wanted to take part in it. I'm not the one for that. I came up to the school knowing that these people was, I think we talked about it in the video. They was two two times bigger than me. I wish up, would you put your hands on my kid and it, it, one of y'all, we will be fighting to the death and I will beat a kid's ass. So I'm uh, like, to not me, no kid's ass. shit, I'm you not, a lie. I'm not gonna I will fight you. a kid. If you keep putting your hands on my daughter, <laughs> well, that, I'll beat your mama ass no, and no, then no, I'll beat your no, ass. No, I'm going to teach, but like well, I always said, you pick up something, like my grandma said, you knock the shit out of them. Beat they ass to where they like, they not going to ever mess with you or come back with you again because you just put the fear of God in them by beating the shit out of them for messing with you for no reason. I come that, that, that's time. what that's what my grandma taught me. And, and she even said that ab about women. If a girl bullying you, knock the shit out of her. And that was my grandma. I what? didn't understand that until one time I was like, oh, I, get, I, I got why she's saying you got to knock the shit out of one. That's a whole nother story. Grandma, I love you. Rest in peace. But yeah, my grandma was no joke. Let's she, see. My mama and she had was a, a And she was a little bitty thing. Wasn't scared or nothing. But she would tell you, if somebody mess with you, you pick something up, knock the, knock the shit out of them. I think me and his grandma could have got along so well. You knocked the we shit talk, out of them. We both got that pop house. I used to walk my grandma, be everywhere, going through certain neighborhoods, vicious dogs running wild. She, nah, all she have a stick and be whooping ass, ready to whoop some ass. I was like, you know what? That generation was G, though. Yeah. It, they was it, G. It ain't like now. It, there's some weak ass which parents <laughs> some weak ass not. parents and, and and they just don't want to stand for shit like you don't want to stand for being good teaching your parents good moral values you don't want to stand for standing up for your kids there's no way the district gonna keep dismissing me if my kid is getting bullied i'm about to take off work and i'm about to make it an obligation yeah. to, I, they gonna think i work at the district because i'm gonna be there every day and she done that just for I've edu done that. educational stuff when I they sure had did. issues at the school i'll be like okay yeah i don't got nothing else to do uh i'll take my pto time and i'm gonna sit at the school district and tell y'all ass to see me and that's exactly what happened when i was fighting for my daughter to be treated education wise correctly yeah that's like what you were saying about the the white teacher tried to tell her that she shouldn't have a she was dream. a school counselor she school told counselor. my oldest daughter that that she should change what she wanted to go to school for because she just didn't foresee it happening this is a straight a kid she was what 30 that, in her class that, that, top 30 that, that, uh, it's like the malcolm x when i was I'm gonna tell her that she's here. not gonna be what she wants it's like that's too much for you. Yeah, you she should lower her standards. That's, that's what the counselor that, said. That's exactly what the uh, teacher told Malcolm X. You know, I've been uh, listening to his autobiography, and he got to the point where he was in school, and he was like, "I know I'm smarter than all these other kids. I'm, I'm class, class, class president, do everything." That's but exactly gonna, what she he was. He was like, "I was gonna be what do you say, a, a lawyer or something?" Like, "Nah, you can't be a lawyer. You don't. We don't want you to be that. That's like too much for you. Won't you be a carpenter or something with your hands?" I'm like. Yeah, told her to lower her standards. Standards. I told my daughter came home and told me that. I told her, I said, don't worry about it. That counselor will never be your counselor again. And I went up there and flipped some shit up. And then she was, I was moved to a whole nother counselor. What? How dare you? Your job is to inspire the children. She said she wanted to keep her in a realistic mind frame. Who the hell are you to tell her what she can't accomplish when she makes straight A's? The entire time she's been in school and in college right now and has been on the dean's list every year since she got there. How dare you? 4.0. But, 4 but, yeah, so. Yeah, I am that one. Yeah. You, you, you're you not going to shut me up. I'm coming to the police department. I'm coming to the school district. I got time today. That's all I got. Nah. And, and more parents need to be G about. like that about their kids. Ride for your damn kids. They gonna let a school district tell some, you how to move some, as a mother. Some do, but they just ride the wrong way. That's cool. But we just want to chop that up with y'all today on Let's Talk About It. Just to let y'all, since it was something that came into our lives and we didn't see it here. Well, she didn't see the first part, but the kid that we know had the issue. And I gotta use the bathroom right now. I'm gonna sit in this car, so 
I'm gonna have to end this right now. Anything you gotta say? I was just gonna say, if anybody out there having problems with their kids, I got time. You wanna? Yep, get your life. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, <laughs> we just wanted to thank y'all for checking in for this another. Let's talk about it, and let's see what we got next time for y'all on Let's Talk About It. Straight from the gym. Just the two of us